All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have a watch from Matthew Tussaud. First time I've ever looked at this brand, and I'm really excited to look at it. This watch came to me by way of the Asia Mechanical Watch Group um, from Facebook. So they, Vincent is one of the admins there. He sent it out to me. I'm really excited to take a look at it. Before we do, guys, I want to ask you, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the little subscribe down there in the button uh, below, and also ring that little bell so you know when I have a new watch video out there. All right, guys, let's jump into this one. Now, you have a really, really clean looking watch here. Now, uh, Matthew Tussaud is very famous for doing uh, Rolex homage watches, and I think this is definitely going to be one of them. Although, this is an exclusive watch to the Asia Mechanical Watch Group, and we'll look at the case back here in just a minute. So, Clean, clean looking watch, and in a traditional size also, you have a 35 millimeter case on this watch. From side to side, 42.7 is what I measure lug tip to lug tip. 13.5 millimeters of thickness from the case back to the top of the dome sapphire crystal, and you have 20 millimeter lug openings. Now bringing it up here closely, you can see this classic Rolex Explorer 1 layout on the watch. Uh, everything is painted on. There's no applied indices on this watch, as as it should be for a, for a watch homaging the, the Rolex Explorer 1. The stick indices, except for at the 3, 6, and 9, where the Arabics, and this nice, nice broad arrow at the 12 o'clock. Mathy Tussaud written cleanly right there, Genève down below, an automatic Swiss made down below. Now, Mathy Tussaud is a Swiss brand. They've been around since I think it's 1886, making watches. They started out in repeaters with chime watches and whatnot, but in the, about in the 1990s, they kind of moved into more contracting for uh, companies and making different watches out there. But they've got a lot to offer. I'll leave a link down below in the description to their website. So inside this watch, you're running the MT224, which I do believe is a variation of the ETA uh, 2824 movement. Um, there is a ghost position on this stem for a date, so that makes me believe that also. But what you're getting here is a high beat movement, Swiss made movement, and it's going to run you really, really well. Back it off here a little bit and we'll take a look at the bracelet on the watch. The bracelet on the watch is done really, really well. I'll take a look at the side here. You can see it has kind of the faux rivet setup uh, like you do on the modern Tudors. These are screw links down here below. Um, and, and like you should any time when you're adjusting these screw link bracelets, use a little bit of blue Loctite to keep those from backing off on you. Uh, opening it up here, you have nice machine clasps and bars inside. And here's the case back here. I'll show you. You can see it's Got the Asia Mechanical Watches Group exclusive written there on the back. Solid link in links, of course. The uh, casework is done very nicely. Brushing on the top, as you would expect of a of watch like this. You have this beautiful uh, polished bezel going around the crystal there. Really nice, uh, makes it pop there. Polishing on the side of the case. And again, you have pierced lugs for easy bracelet or strap changes. Probably saw this when I had it on the other side, but you do have the little... A Matthew Tussaud peace sign logo there. Hand set, very clean. Again, the Massey Tussaud uh, kind of peace symbol logo there, but really, really nice, clean looking watch. Let's go ahead and pause it and get this watch on my seven inch wrist and then stick around because this one has some really, really impressive loom on it. All right, so the watch fits me well. It's funny because whenever I wear like a 35 or a 34 millimeter watch, it feels small on my wrist, but then when I look at it, from behind the camera, I think it looks really well. I think it fits my my wrist actually very nicely. Now, the bracelet is not sized to me, so you guys can see how much meat is left here on the bracelet. So it is going to fit a larger wrist, no problem at all. You guys can adjust it there. And there are some micro adjustments, like three in the bracelet I didn't show you earlier, but really, really nice. One thing I wanted to show you really quickly here also that came with it is this is their, um, this looks like their, uh, Logo for their watch group, got the Kanagawa Wave there, which is really cool, Asia Mechanical Watch Group, and also a little sticker here came with it. And these Matthews are so, I think they all come in these, these really nice wooden boxes, so really clean looking little piece. Let's dim the lights and check out the loom on this one. All right, guys, so now the lights are down, but I do have a window in the back of the room, and this camera is really good at picking up any any light uh, in a situation. But this is a uh, Swiss Super Luminova, so no bother. I mean, it really glows on the wash. It looks great. So really nice looking piece. I'm going to leave a link down below where you guys can check out these uh, at their Shopify site. I think it is. These are running $399 US, which isn't a bad deal for how much watch you're getting here. And in this classic, uh, you know, Rolex sizing, if you guys are thinking about buying a classic Rolex Explorer 1, but you're nervous about the size, this would be something to check out. Maybe put it on the wrist for a while. Have it as a uh, as a you know a check watch to see if it's going to work for you. But really, really nice watch uh, if you're looking for something like this. All right, guys, you like the video? Give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.